guys, it's Mina, and I decided to do a movie review because I haven't done one in a really long time, and I figured I'd do one. In this video, I'm going to review a movie called Beverly Hills Chihuahua. So Beverly Hills Chihuahua is about this spoiled, pampered chihuahua named Chloe, who is voiced by Drew Barrymore, who go, who is left with her, by her owner, Vivian, played by um, Jamie Lee Curtis, and her... by who with her um niece na with her owner's niece named Rachel played by Piper Parabo and Ra and Rachel gets invited to go to Mexico with one of her friends and then Rachel takes Chloe to Mexico with her and while Ra while they're in Mexico Chloe gets dog napped and napped by a dog fighter and she escapes this German shepherd and he tries to name Delgado and tries to help her get back home Okay, to get started on the, started, I absolutely love Beverly Hills Chihuahua. It's a really cute movie, but at the same time, I find it really depressing because I this is what I found out from a friend of the family was that a whole bunch of people got Chihuahuas from the pound in my town. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, that was bird time from the pound where I live, and um, I don't live in a pound. Just so you guys know from the pound like in the city where I live and they were and a bunch of people just got them because of the movie and then I think within like two weeks or a week I'm not really exactly quite sure sure this was like when I was a sophomore in high school school and they got them within like like a week or two later and they dumped them back in the pound pound and pound which is like depressing I mean why do you why do people do that I mean that's just like depressing Pressing. Why do they get a dog a dog for like I don't know a week or two, and then just dump it back in the pound? That shows those people have no respect for animals. I mean, I mean that's just depressing and cruel. It just shows they have like absolutely no respect. Respect. And I love dogs, just so you guys know. And and if you guys know um, don't know my channel, I absolutely love dogs. I have actually two at home. Home and there's like and one of them is like right by my feet right now. Oh, yeah, I just hate those people who are just, like, completely, completely not very bright and just cruel to animals by, like, dump, taking them and then just dumping them back in the pound. I mean, this is, that's just so cruel. Why would you do that? I mean, not saying a particular person, but why those who got, those people who got chihuahuas would dump them back in the pound? Why? Okay, so, sorry, I was being a little dramatic, but I just still find that depressing. Okay, so, anyway, um, I'm going to talk about the characters now. I like Chloe. Um, she, I think she's my favorite character in the film. She's really cute. And, um, I love her outfits, and I love how, like, at first she's, like, really, really spoiled and then so self-absorbed and full of herself. Even though I find those characters kind of annoying, but I just love at first how she's self-absorbed full of herself and then as she grows in a journey and then gets lost in Mexico because she starts to become more kinder and friendlier here to other others and she starts to respect them more or including her owner's niece niece and the dog who loves her <coughs> sorry I also forgot to mention um, Chloe's voice by Drew Barrymore, who I recognize really well. I've seen her in E.T., which I got a review. I've also seen her in Fifty First Stage, which is another film I have to review. The Wedding Singer, it's another one I got a review. I've seen her in Fever Pitch a long time ago in Music and Lyrics. And I can't think of else what I've seen her in. And yeah, that's all pretty much I can think of that I've seen her in. I've seen her in a ton of films, but I can't name them all off the top of my head. Ed, or, yeah, I just can't name them all off the top of my head. Ed, and also, so that if I had, if I knew, like, more films that she's been in, that probably make this video probably way too long to put up on YouTube. Okay. I, I'm only going to say the actors I know because I don't remember all the actors' names. And if I said, like, all the actors, then that would take way too long, too. Okay, um, I also, um, like Rachel, who, Rachel, um, I like how at first she's, like, really irresponsible and, like, avoids responsibility at first, and then as she, um, loses Chloe, she starts to try and find her and be, and she starts to be more responsible. 
I like those characters who, yeah, I uh, absolutely, I forgot to mention, I love those characters who are at first spoiled and then just snotty and just self-absorbed and then as they go on a journey after journey and they start to be more, come more kinder and more generous and that's what I love. And like Rachel, um, at first she's like completely irresponsible and likes to avoid responsibility. But as she loses Chloe, she starts to become more responsible. And that's what I really love about those characters. Probably learn, like, a valuable lesson after, like, uh, their way is wrong. That's what I love. Okay. I also like Poppy. Who, B, I love how, like, he loves Chloe and he'll, like, do anything for her. Well, and I also like at first how Chloe doesn't care. Like, I kind of sad how well, at first Chloe doesn't care about, like, his affections for her. But then... As she, then she starts to realize and then lies and feels bad for not giving him a chance. Right? Lies his love and feels bad for not giving him a chance. I like how Poppy shows, like, his affections, like, for Chloe. Like, he'll say, like, he'll do, like, this kind of thing for her, which I find really sweet. And, um, she starts to fall in love with him, too, as she realizes, like, his kindness and she is. It's just really cute. Cute, and I like how Poppy, after the way Chloe treats Poppy, he just still goes after her. I just find that really sweet, generous, how, like, one person who is in love with that person, who is getting cruelly treated by that person, goes to do anything for that person. I just find that just so sweet. <laughs> I like, uh, yeah, I think I mentioned I like Rachel, but if I didn't, yeah. I like, um... Vivian, I love how she just loves Chloe and she just spoils her. It's just really cute. And I love, love how she dresses her in clothes. I love how seeing people dress their dogs in clothes. I find it really cute. I mean, I dress my little dog in sweatshirts and stuff, like when they're cold in the winter. And they look adorable. And then, well, not to brag her. Okay. My, I dress my dogs in sweaters during the winter because they get freezing cold. It's just really cute, and I just my dog wants some PJs. It was just really cute. Cute. I just find it cute how people put, like, their dogs in clothes. Sorry. I also like Delgado. <coughs> Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. I also like the character Delgado. I love how he helps, tries to help Chloe find her way home. And I like how he... Um, I find it sad how he loses his sense of smell after being attacked by another dog. And he gets it back once he sniffs Chloe's collar. Collar, and he's, like, um, able to help her and stuff. I just love how he sticks with her through the journey and never... Stick with her through the journey and tries to help her. Help her, and that's just, like... I just love those characters who, like, are annoy first annoyed with the spoiled characters when they first meet them. And then they get and then they and then as they're like with them on the journey they start to like them and get to know them and become like friends and stuff i just really love those characters i also like let me think who else i like i okay yeah i like practically all the dogs in the movie B, i like how um how like like about like they also find like homes for like the stray dogs and stuff and it's good and if, you, and if you guys ever want a dog, just always get a stray because then you're saving a life. It's, and you're going to feel like a good person. I actually used to have, like, uh, I had, like, two stray dogs before. For and, for, and we saved both their lives. And please ignore Pearl snoring. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh yeah, I forgot. I also like the setting, how, um... Oh, yeah, there's one thing I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to mention this. I love the setting of Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I love how it's in Beverly Hills, like, when it's so clean and stuff. I also love how it's, like, in... And then it goes to Mexico and co, and there's, like... Sorry. I love how it goes to, like, Mexico and stuff. Okay, let me start. I love how at first it takes place in... I love those movies, first it takes place in Beverly Hills and then it goes to Mexico. I love those movies where one, where, where like, um, it starts in one country and then it goes to another country. It's just, like, so much fun to, fun to see what happens next, like, when the, that particular person is in that country. 
country. I don't know why. I just find that interesting. <laughs> okay, so I would recommend Beverly Hills Chihuahua to people who love dogs and and those who just love chihuahuas and love to dress their dogs in clothes. It's just like really cute and cute and adorable and there's like tons of cute doggies in there. There, I would just recommend it for dog people. Okay, so that was my review on Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this movie review and I'll see you in another another video soon.